How you doing? Scotty Bear, back with another video. This video about the California Exodus myth and the Nevada surge, like the false surge that Nevada is going through. And I'd like to talk about both. One is, is Newsweek put out an article, I believe it was Newsweek. I apologize if I blow it. Uh, but uh, saying that it was a myth that people were leaving California. In fact, I, I think that was a, uh, a load of crap, really, because there is a four and a half month wait for a moving truck leaving the state. I mean, that, that alone uh, is a very interesting stat. Also, a uh, kind of fun fact with that is you know, I feel like most of Nevada's surge, and even northern Nevada, especially around the Reno area, is experiencing uh, a growth because of the exodus from California. I mean, you're always going to find somebody to take a run in California. You're always going to find somebody that's, you know, sucked in by the allure of the, you know, making money and... Uh, so uh, you're always going to find that situation. However, I, I, I don't believe it's worth it at the end. And not only that, if you if you are unlucky enough to get on the franchise tax board, uh, uh, you know, radar, uh, it could be, you know, very interesting situation. California is, is no, nothing to mess with, especially with the rules that it's making and, uh, you know, it, it's it's become unlivable is, is really the point. So I, I think that most people are, uh, you know, getting hip to that and in moving on. However, I still know people as of today, lifers that have been in California, but, but have really owned their home, uh, you know, outright for a very long time. So there's, uh, there's that situation. Now, uh, the, <clears throat> man, the growth in Nevada also has been a very interesting situation because uh, I don't believe in most cases, and this is, uh, you know, a purely from my, um, I had some conversations with a friend, um, you know, that had some information about the people that actually move on from Las Vegas fairly quickly. Uh, you know, there are some very ugly uh, parts of Las Vegas. One of them that I particularly don't care a whole lot for is um, Vegas now has adopted. Well, rent is due on the 1st, and any days after that are, in some cases, 50 or or $100 a day. Very, very, uh, you know, ambitious, uh, you know, problems built into rental contracts. This is also the reason why I decided not to continue in Las Vegas and and have gone a long period of time without, you know, signing a lease because some of their terms are ridiculous for, uh, you know, most of these properties that you see, these mid-grade properties scattered around town, some better than others, um, but uh, the management companies and stuff are just uh, you know, predatory uh, is maybe the best way because people move in, get them in what was beforehand maybe a move-in special. I, I, I think few of, fewer of those type of deals are available now that they're experiencing even more growth. And rental prices are, are following along. I, if you, in from, from the standpoint of living there, you know, Vegas never really felt like home. However, I spent many years there, uh, you know, and purely for one, to get out. And, and, you know, it's an uncomfortable place. But, you know, honestly, Las Vegas has got to be one of the most uncomfortable places to be just kind of broke. So, uh, you know, it, it was not like, it was much different. Like, you know, California, oh, you know, I'm out of money. Oh, hey, let's go to the beach, you know fuck it, we'll go surfing, you know, it's, uh, it, you know, there's always uh, some sort of pressure on, on that situation, but, uh, however, um, 
I think that's why the housing market and uh, the inflation in the rent rental market is is gonna fall flat at some point. I don't think Vegas is back. Um, the uh, you know the airlines uh, more stimulus and stuff might uh, hold hold the balloon a little a little longer. But uh, these kids, casinos have been out for a long time. I do know for a fact they're running at, of you know, limited limited staff. Uh, you know, I have friends still in Vegas, wishing to get out, but also uh, stuck there too. Um, and, and you know, the housing market is. Uh, I know several people trying to sell their houses too, and uh, of course, every situation is unique, so it's hard to speak broadly about these experiences, but. Uh, you know, I, I, I really think Vegas is worth very little. Um, the winters are amazing. I will put give them that. Uh, the summers are a little bit rough, especially when they go into periods where, you know, multiple days of 107. It's a dry heat. It's a dry heat. But uh, uh, I guess my point would be, I feel like most people move on from Las Vegas fairly quickly. Uh, especially if the, um, you know, gambling is not that appealing because uh, you go into uh, buy gasoline, you 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 can gamble it up, uh, and and I get that call all the time from friends going, hey, look, hey man, I'm gonna be in Vegas next weekend, you know, drag me around, uh, let's go places, and of course, you know that costs money also. Uh, just trying to do my best to kick as much dirt on Las Vegas as possible. You know what I'm saying? Just woke up in that kind of mood. I, I don't know what day it is. I'm going to take a stab and say Wednesday. I think it's probably Wednesday. Have a wonderful Wednesday.